Hi and welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. I'm excited to bring to you today this tasty little treat called lobster fritters. There was not much to this little recipe, but it is a lovely one. One that we like making if we're expecting company, last minute, or if we want to have a snack on date night or watching a game. So if this interests you and you like to know how to make it, stick around and let's get started. Always an open door, Benita's Kitchen to yours, Benita's Kitchen, Benita's Kitchen, Benita's Kitchen to yours. Okay, now we only got a few simple ingredients here and I'll show you that as we go. Um, we got some lobster meat, but you could use um, I guess the imitation lobster, you could use canned lobster, you could use crab, you could use whatever you want to put in there for substituting. But right now we'll just focus on the lobster. And we'll start. Okay, so what we're going to do is just mix together a nice little batter. And it's got one and a half cups of flour, and I'm using white flour here today. And we got two teaspoonfuls of baking powder, a quarter teaspoonful of sea salt, and a quarter teaspoonful of black pepper. So we just toss those and dry ingredients around just to blend it all in. And over here, we got the two large eggs and half a cup of milk. And you could use fresh milk or you could use evaporated milk. And if you don't want to use milk, of course, you could use water. And I'm just going to toss those eggs just lightly. And we're going to put it into the dry ingredients and as well the milk. So pretty much now all you're going to do is just mix this nice batter all together until all of the ingredients are incorporated. <laughs> most of it over the counter Raymond before uh, before it's mixed up eh? Mm -hmm. Okay I'm going to change out my whisk here now and use just my wooden spoon. So what I'm going to do here now is just fold in the shredded lobster. So we're just going to fold this into to this batter. Now like I was saying there at the beginning, you use what you got because we all know that lobster is very expensive. But we had a little bit of lobster left over in the freezer that we used for this. But sometimes I use can and sometimes I use just uh, the imitation lobster just so as we can have this as a treat. Now let me tell you what else to do. Okay, so all that's folded nice together. So pretty much now that's all you need to do with that uh, if you got a deep fryer I always say approved deep fryer because I don't usually fry on the stove top uh, put it on 350 degrees Fahrenheit have it preheated because what we're going to do then is dollop um, a teaspoonful or a tablespoonful of this batter into the fryer and just let it come to a golden brown and then we're going to show you as well how to make this uh, tasty uh, sauce and it's a quick sauce and you can make it with lemon marmalade or a uh, orange marmalade and we got a, a very nice marmalade on Bonita's kitchen that we can show you as well so come over here to my deep fryer and let's get going with these lobster fritters so pretty much what you're going to do is take up about a tablespoonful, a teaspoonful to a tablespoonful of this delicious lobster fritter batter and put it into the deep fryer. Just dollop it down. Don't overcrowd the fryer. Probably do four at a time, unless you've got a big old fryer, of course. Um, and that would uh, be just perfect there. So I'm going to put four in and I'm going to give mine a little whisk. And then I'm going to put the lid down and let that just come to a golden brown. Probably just a few minutes there for sure. I'll let you know how much. Okay, so pretty much what, we, what we're aiming for is a golden brown. Just look at it. <laughs> They're looking good there Isn't now. Isn't that already? lovely? Yeah. Now a little bit more I want it. So probably two minutes or so on each side. Or depending on your deep fryer or fryer that you're using. I'm just going to toss it back down again. 
And then I'm going to show you when I take it out. All right, this is lovely. All right, so pretty much all I did, like I said, about a couple of minutes on each on each side, and uh, then put it into. I'm just using a sleeve there now for your air fryer, just to drain off some of the oil. I'm going to put another batch in, and then I'm going to show you how to make that quick sauce. So now this is pretty much it. I got a cup, a half a cup to a cup of orange marmalade. You can as well use a lemon marmalade, but this is the one that we did a while back and I made a whole bunch of jam and want to find things to do with it. So one tablespoon full of vinegar and we got about a teaspoon full of that lemon zest. So you put it in there with it and a half a cup of boiling water. So you toss all that in together. Now this is called a quick, well right now it's a quick orange sauce, but if you were making it lemon, it'd be a lemon sauce. So pretty much all you do then is just shake it in the bottle. So just toss it like this in a mason jar, or you could mix it, and that's all. We just wanted a nice sauce. And that's it. All right. Oh my gosh, it smells absolutely amazing in there. They're all done. I can see us having a little snack with these Let's now in a few minutes. We're definitely going to have to just have a little sample. Oh, we we'll have a little. Oh, you know, we're going to have a little sample. Now this is it. It makes about fifteen or more of these delicious little lobster fritters. Now let's have a little taste. So I'm just going to toss in here that quick little sauce that off to the side. I'm going to take one of these here. I'm just going to pull this ear to the side a little bit because I want to show you first just how lovely they look on the outside and then give them a little cut. And then on the inside you can see, well I mean you can see little pieces of the lobster but the smell is absolutely Amazing, yeah, and I uh, bet you the taste, the taste. Is going to be and the just same. look, just a little dip of that sauce. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to have a little taste. It sounds good. Yum. All right, so just have a little sprinkle of that lemon zest over the top of those fritters. Oh my gosh, I got to dip this again, Raymond. <laughs> yeah, I just I'm looking. You're at, double dipping. I'm double dipping, but I never <laughs> tasted it. I just no. double dipped. Yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh. Drop the fritter. Delicious. <laughs> I don't know if that's, yeah, no, that's appropriate yeah. on, on my show, but no. it is so good. And I just believe you can put whatever you like in those little fritters and it's going to taste amazing. Go with what's affordable. I know that lobster is not always affordable, but if you see it on sale or in the frozen section, get a small amount of it come on make yourself a batch of these you won't be disappointed they're so good so tasty i have a little sip of my tea while it's nice and hot this is it is as good as it gets i can't wait for you to make them the recipe is going to be posted in under this link it can either say see more or an arrow pointing down if you can't find it there and you're still wondering you can send me a message at bonitakitchen at gmail.com. Visit us on our website www.bonitakitchen.com or stop by on our Facebook page and we can show it to you there along with a few more tasty meals. So that's it. I'm not going to take any more of your time. We certainly know it's precious. We'd like to thank each and every one of you for stopping by here today. And on behalf of myself, Raymond, and our team, and of course from our kitchen to yours, you have a wonderful day. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to say definitely two thumbs up by myself and Raymond's going to have you <laughs> very shortly. Uh, I'm just counting the seconds now. It'll be through with Oh my gosh. Kitchen to yours. Benita's kitchen. Kitchen. Kitchen.
yours. And don't forget to join us again on Bandit's Kitchen.